the planet we call home is even more bizarre than you might imagine. And these are nine strange things on this planet that you probably had no idea existed. 9. Earth isn't round. Don't worry, we're not about to tell you that the Earth is flat. But here's a fascinating fact. Our planet isn't perfectly round either. The Earth is actually a type of a sphere called oblate spheroid. This means that the Earth is squashed at the poles and bulges at the equator. This quirky shape means that the distance from the center of the Earth to its surface isn't the same everywhere. It's about 21 kilometers or 13 miles longer at the equator than at the poles. While you can't spot this difference with the naked eye, science and artificial satellites help us measure it precisely. Now, why is the Earth shaped this way? It's the result of the Earth's rotation. As it twirls, something called centrifugal force comes into play. This force causes a little bulge around the equator and flattens out the poles just a touch. So, if you were to slice through the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole, it would look like an elongated ellipse, and if you sliced it horizontally along the equator, it would resemble the shape of a circle. 8. Gravity isn't the same everywhere on Earth If our planet were a perfect round sphere with uniform mass all around, gravity would act the same everywhere on its surface. However, Earth isn't exactly like that. It's more of a flattened sphere, which means gravity isn't evenly spread out, and its strength varies depending on where you are. This difference in gravity is caused by the forces created when the Earth spins on its axis, something called centrifugal force. At the equator, where it bulges out, gravity is a bit weaker compared to places higher above the Earth's center, like at the poles. Now, here's something interesting. If you stood on a scale at the North or South Pole, you'd weigh about 0.5% more than you would at the equator. That's because gravity is stronger there. But if you somehow found yourself on top of Mount Everest, your weight would decrease by roughly 0.29%. That's because gravity is slightly weaker at higher altitudes. To put it in numbers, the gravity at the summit of Mount Everest is about 99.72% as strong as it is at sea level. So, if you had a 1,000-pound object at sea level, it would weigh just 997.2 pounds up on Everest. 7. Earth's magnetic poles will soon flip The idea of the Earth's poles swapping may sound like something out of a doomsday movie, but it's actually a completely natural event that has occurred numerous times in our planet's history. Think of it as a cosmic dance routine that Earth performs every few hundred thousand years. In the past 20 million years, the North and South magnetic poles have traded places roughly every 200,000 to 300,000 years. The last switch-up happened about 780,000 years ago, which means we're due for the next one. Recent data from the European Space Agency satellites indicates that the magnetic field is already in the early stages of shuffling around. But here's the kicker. Scientists can't pinpoint the exact date when this magnetic pole flip will happen. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, our Earth's magnetic field is like a colossal force field that shields us from nasty cosmic rays. Whenever the poles swap, this protective shield weakens. At the moment, we are safe from space radiation reaching the Earth's surface. But that could change once the poles complete their switcheroo. When the magnetic field substantially weakens and hangs out like that for a while, we'll face higher levels of radiation. That radiation could wreak havoc on our power grid and even lead to an increase in diseases like cancer. 6. The Earth used to have two moons I know this might sound like a conspiracy, but this theory is backed by some pretty credible science. Around 4.5 billion years ago, our Earth likely played host to not one, but two moons. It was published in the prestigious journal Nature back in 2011, explaining why the moon has two very distinct faces. The side facing Earth boasts smooth, lava-covered plains, while the mysterious dark side of the moon is all rocky and rugged. According to the two-moon theory, those highlands on the dark side are leftovers from the smaller, less fortunate moon that had a cosmic collision course with our moon. 
don't picture a Hollywood-style explosion. This was a more graceful encounter, happening at gentle subsonic speeds. Sure, we can't say it's a proven fact just yet, but upcoming lunar missions could be the key to unlocking this lunar mystery. So stay tuned for the lunar saga to unfold. 5. Earth is made up of two planets fused together. It's not just the idea of two moons that's shaking things up. Earth itself might be the result of a colossal cosmic collision. Researchers from the University of California, Los Angeles have found evidence that a small planetary object named Theia smashed into Earth around 4.5 billion years ago and fused with our planet in a violent collision. Scientists believe that the material thrown into orbit after this collision formed the two moons that later merged into one. Theia was an object about the size of Mars, with a diameter of about 6,102 kilometers. It is named after the mother of Selene, the goddess of the moon in Greek mythology. According to this hypothesis, Theia orbited the Sun along the orbit of the proto-Earth before eventually being pushed away by gravitational influence of Jupiter and Venus, resulting in a collision with Earth. The smaller planet's core mixed with the Earth's core, which would explain why the Earth's core is now larger than it is normally expected for an astronomical body of its size. 4. The highest point on Earth is not Mount Everest You were probably taught at school that Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world, which is true. But did you know that this doesn't mean that Mount Everest is also the highest point on Earth? This title actually belongs to Chimborazo, a volcano located on the Cordillera Occidental, one of the two main mountain ranges of the Andes in Ecuador. So, how is it possible that the highest mountain on Earth and the Earth's highest point are two different things? As you're probably already guessing, the reason once again lies in the irregular shape of our planet. With a maximum height of 6,263 meters, Chimborazo is not the highest mountain by elevation above sea level, but its location on the equatorial bulge makes its summit the farthest point on the Earth's surface from the Earth's center, as well as the point on Earth closest to the moon. But Chimborazo is not the only mountain to challenge Mount Everest's title as the highest on the planet. Hawaii's dormant volcano Moana Kea is actually a lot bigger from top to bottom than Everest, but since its bottom is located under the sea, Mount Kea can't match Everest's record-breaking height when measured in relation to sea level. 3. A day on Earth is not exactly 24 hours We've always been told that there are 24 hours in a day. Or are they? A day on Earth isn't precisely 24 hours long. In reality, it's about 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. A day marks the time it takes for our planet to complete a full twirl around the Sun, and for all practical purposes, we round it up to 24 hours. But the Earth's actual spin falls short by roughly 4 minutes. Wait, if each day has an extra 3 minutes and 56 seconds, won't midnight eventually turn into mid-afternoon? Surprisingly, no. Here's the cosmic twist. There are two types of days at play here, the sidereal day and the solar day. The sidereal day is how long it takes Earth to spin a full 360 degrees on its axis, which clocks in at less than 24 hours. But when we talk about a day in everyday lingo, we're talking about the solar day. This is the time it takes for the sun to return to the same spot in the sky, and it's almost exactly 24 hours. If that sounds strange and confusing, wait till you hear about the last few things on our list. 2. The largest living organism on Earth is a fungus. Sure, when it comes to individual creatures, the blue whale reigns as the planet's largest living being. But if we shift our focus to all life forms on Earth, there's a colossal tidal holder in the form of a gigantic fungus, a hidden giant lurking in the blue mountains of Oregon, United States. Meet Armillaria ostoyae, a fungal species with a knack for attacking plant sapwood. This fungal giant can travel incredible distances under tree bark or even between trees. In Oregon's Malheur National Forest, a single specimen of this mammoth fungus blankets a mind-boggling 3.4 square miles of forest floor. Scientists estimate it to be somewhere between 1900 and a jaw-dropping 8,650 years old. When this giant mushroom 
Nicknamed the humongous fungus, was first discovered in 1998. It sparked debate about what constitutes an individual organism. However, researchers have since settled the score, concluding that if a life form consists of genetically identical cells that can communicate with one another, it deserves the title of a single organism. And that's precisely why the humongous fungus takes the crown as the largest known organism in the world based on the sheer area it covers. 1. 95% of Earth's oceans are unexplored. Despite our impressive technological strides, Earth's oceans remain a vast enigma. Despite the fact that these aqueous expanses cover over 70% of our planet's surface, our exploration barely scrapes the surface, with less than 5% of the ocean thoroughly examined. In fact, we know more about the Moon than about the deepest parts of the ocean. This means that there could be an endless number of strange and fascinating things waiting to be discovered in the unexplored depths of the ocean. To get an idea of just how unknown the ocean is, consider this. In 2004, a team of explorers working on a project called Operation Deep Scope placed a hidden camera on the bottom of the deep ocean in the Gulf of Mexico and made a new discovery almost immediately. It took less than a minute for the camera to capture a video of a six-foot squid that had never been seen before and was not known to exist. Imagine only what other exciting discoveries we could make if we were to explore the whole of the ocean floor.